Ho ho ho! Carl from CWD. Um, it's a bit cold to be working, so I thought what I'll do is I'm going to have a muck around with the sealant. So I've just found a piece of glass. I'll turn you around. This is a piece of glass that we actually took off another pond because there's a there's a little smudge in the middle. There's no chance of me finding it now. Uh, it was only it was like a little fleck. It was tiny, um, but it was um, a relatively small pond and a window this size. It's a meter wide by 600 high and the customer was trying to clean the glass and there was, you know, there's there's a little smudge in the middle it was doing the red in so we agreed to go back and take it out and replace it um so you can see it took half the wood it took me absolutely ages to get this piece piece of glass out um i was worried that it was going to rip the old pond apart i didn't realize just how strong the sealant was going to be um but yeah really <laughs> i was really impressed with the the grab on it, you can see all the bits of wood that it, it took off with it. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do, this piece of glass is outside, so it's covered in, it's all like covered in ice and frost and all stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it in there tonight and I'm going to bring a heater with me tomorrow just in case it's still iced over. And I'm going to muck about the ceiling. Um, We've never tested it below zero or even below five. We just assumed it wouldn't work, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work. And while I've got a bit of spare time, I thought I might as well have a muck around and see, find out what the, you know, test the limits of it. So that's that, um, my pond MS300. Um, so I'm going to be using a bit of butyl liner, the one mil butyl liner that we use in the box world liners. I'm going to be, so yeah, I'm going to be using it on the one mil butyl box world liner using the glass of the MS300. Also, I've got some offcuts of the same plastic that's used in making you know, like bottom drains and flanges and all that. So I'm gonna put some nice big bits of liner on that. I'm gonna test it with different thickness beads. So I'm gonna have a few different beads, a few different thicknesses, see if it works better when it's pressed flat or, you know, in, in these sort of temperatures, we've never done it before. Um, so I thought I might as well just, just see what, <laughs> What happened? Sorry, this is doing me. Doing me, I oh. There we go, that's better. So yeah, I'm just going to see see how the sealant copes in cold temperatures. Because if we do realise, actually, we can use it in much colder temperatures, then there's going to be much less customers waiting around, for, you know, in the winter for things to be done. Uh, I can't see it, but you don't know until you try it, do you? So there, we've got this big stack of sleepers. This is one of our little storage units. There's a few bits of glass there. And then I've got all these sleepers that I need to take off as well. And I'm going to be building, I'm going to be building three pond kits tomorrow. So I'll, I'll video that, show you how we, how we make them. I need to clear up, make some room in here. We just moved a load of stuff from outside. Um, because I didn't want equipment and things being left outside. Like mixer and all that. So yeah, a bit tidying up to do today, then tomorrow clear some space, get the generator on, hopefully that still works and get making some um, some pond kits. We've got one going to Nottingham, to Dan, and then we've got Steve in Taunton. So you're going to be building your kit and also um, I was a lad in like Liverpool way that's bought a, bought a kit as well. So yeah, we've got, yeah, they're going all over really. Mostly down south, so you know two just off the M6. So I might take them personally, and then um, yeah, I might as well take the Liverpool one as well because that's just around the corner. So yeah, um, I'll do a video tomorrow. Well, today is Monday, so tomorrow and Tuesday I'm going to be building the kits. So yeah, you'll probably see a video on Wednesday or something like that. But yeah, um, thanks for following, and if you've got any questions, as always, give us a shout. Let us know. Happy to answer any questions.